What's up YouTube? In this video, we are going to learn title, copy, xcopy, move, delete, help and type commands. The title command is used to give a title to the console. The syntax for that is title space the desired title name here i am giving the title how to to my console let's save and run the script yes here you can see the title of the console is how underscore two now let's learn how to copy a file using batch script so here my plan is to copy a text file from copy a folder to copy b folder i'm going to create a new text file over here i'm going to name it a.txt now i am going to get the address of the path the syntax used to copy a file is copy paste then the from address that is the source address then give a space then the destination address here the destination address is copy b so let's save and run the script here in the cmd you can see the message one file copied let's check the file in copy b yes the file got copied one thing you have to keep in mind is that if there is a space in a folder name or if the file name also has a space then you have to specify the path in double quotes in this example let's try removing this double quote and let's try to run this here you can see in the folder name copy a there is a space let's try to run this we will get a syntax error yes we got the system cannot find the file specified so you have to provide the path in double quotation if you want to copy all the files in a folder you can just uh, remove the file name so here the source is desktop slash copy a and the destination is desktop slash copy b now in the source folder i am going to create another excel file i am going to name it as b in the destination folder you can see that the folder is empty now let's save and run the script let's see what happens yes we got the message two files copied let's open copy b yep the txt file a and the excel file b got copied from copy a folder to copy b folder if you want to copy files with a specific extension you can make use of asterisk in this example i am trying to copy only the files with txt extension from copy a folder to copy b for that i am going to add a backward slash then an asterisk dot txt now let's save and run the script yes we got the message one file copied here you can see only the txt file got copied from copy a folder to copy b folder next one is delete command to delete something we need only one location so here instead of copy i am going to change it to del that is delete then i am providing the location since this is very simple and almost similar to the copy command i am not going to demonstrate it so to delete a group of files in a folder you can just give the location of that folder for example i have 10 files in copy a folder you can give the location like this suppose if you want to delete all the txt files in a folder you can give the syntax like this that is after the folder you can give a backward slash then asterisk dot txt if you want to delete a specific file you can give the name of that file if you want to make the script confirm before deleting a file you can add a forward slash p to the end let's save and run the script here the console is asking whether to proceed with deletion or not i am going to press y then enter yes the txt file got deleted from copy a folder some other attributes which are associated with the delete command are let's type delete space forward slash question mark in the cmd console here you can see the parameters available are slash p which we have discussed then slash f for force deleting slash s for delete specified files 
then slash q for quiet mode and slash a also has many attributes you can try this by your own it's very easy now let's learn about move command as we all know the move command moves the file from one location to another for that the syntax is move space source then space then destination here in this example i am going to copy a.txt to folder copy b let's save and run the script yes one file moved if you open copy a you won't be able to see a.txt it will be inside copy b in move command also there are some parameters let's check those as you can see here we can make use of slash y and slash hyphen y slash y will suppress prompting to confirm our writing and slash hyphen y works vice versa let's test the script with slash hyphen y so it will prompt before overwriting so let's add slash hyphen y over here let's save the script and in copy a folder let's create another txt file now let's run the script yes we got a prompt message it's asking to overwrite or not to overwrite or overwrite all i'm going to give yes yes we got the message one file moved let's open folder copy b yes here we have a.txt but in copy a folder there is no a.txt if you want to move an entire folder just remove the last file name let's save it and run the script yes we got the message one directory moved and the copy a folder which was here got disappeared now in the copy b folder you can see the copy a folder this is how you can move the entire folder another useful command is xcopy command let's check the parameters of that command here you can see there are a lot of parameters for example if you specify this attribute that is slash d colon month day year it will copy all the files changed on or after that specified date if you use slashes it will copy directories and subdirectories if you use slash p it will prompt you before creating each destination like that there are a lot of attributes available you can just give a try to see the content of a file in the console just type type then the directory to the file let's save the script here we need to create a text file i am going to type how underscore 2 in the txt file let's run the script yes we got how underscore 2 over here to know about all the commands in the batch scripting just open a command prompt and type help here you will be able to see all the commands available under batch scripting if you want to know more about each command just type help space then the command for example here i am going to type ver then press enter it will give the description of that command let's check with one more instead of ver let's type type yes we got the description of that command as well so that's all about commands in batch scripting we have gone through some of the important commands in batch scripting so if you have time you can try with these commands as well thank you for watching guys